Marcin Held, Satoshi Ishi, Marcin Tybura. Trenuj w sprzęcie dla najlepszych. Wejdź na groundgame.com. I want to ask um, just your thoughts on some of the big welterweight fights coming up. Um, first off, I think the one, uh, the soonest, Leon Edwards, Hamza Chemaev. Who do you think wins that one and why? That's a tough one where I'll be looking very closely. And uh, I don't know. If, I think if Leon wins, he'll be next. If Hamza wins, I still believe he needs to do one more. But... Uh, I got Kamzashi Maev a little bit more because of the wrestling. I think he, he looks like he can't take Leo Edwards down and uh, control him over there. But yeah, I give a little, I don't know, to be honest, I don't know, but I give a little bit more edge for Kamzashi Maev in that fight. Another big one people are talking about, they expect Jorge Masvidal. Versus Colby Covington, They're kind of similar to you guys. Old teammates, now they're rivals. What do you think of that fight and who wins? Uh, I I don't think that 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 fight ever gonna get finalized. I don't. I just don't believe it's gonna be a freaking drama show. But if that fight ever comes, you know, to to fruition, I I do believe uh, Colby Covington wins with the pace and the wrestling. But I don't believe that fight's going to happen. If it doesn't, how would you feel about possibly being a coach on The Ultimate Fighter against one of these guys? Yeah, it's always a possibility. Why not? I think uh, what I heard that Masvidal turned it down because he doesn't pay well to be, you know, working so much to be on The Ultimate Fighter. That's what I heard. I don't know if it's true. But yeah, if I get compensated good, why not? My final question, Gilbert. Uh, I'm asking all the fighters this. You guys are fighting on Valentine's Day weekend here in the United States. What is Gilbert Burns' idea of a romantic Valentine's Day? Uh, it just be with my wife. You know, she's my going to be all my girlfriend, Bruna Burns. She's also in my corner. She's always supporting me. So a good day will be, you know, take her out, give her a couple of gifts, you know, show her how much I love her and We'll be there Sunday night, and I'll bring her a belt for her. Hey, thank, thank you, you, Gilbert, and good luck. Thank you. We'll take the next set of questions from Pablo Santa Maria with Noti MMA Ecuador. Hi, Gilbert. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. The first thing I want to ask you is: uh, this makes more interesting to watch because you were friends, and we should expect fireworks because you you know each other so well. Yeah. Uh, I know him a lot. He knows me a lot, and uh, there's a little intrigue, right? Because I do believe I'm gonna win. He does believe he's gonna win, and then we'll find out Saturday night, you know. And then I think the little advantage that I have is that my teammates know him a lot. You, my coach know him a lot. You, his coach doesn't know me that much, you know. And uh, and the thing with me is. I believe I'm a different animal at that division, you know, at, uh, at the world away division. I believe I'm, I still have that, that, that quickness, you know, the speed of a lightweight, but I hate like a middleweight and fast jujitsu in the game and uh, dangerous guy on the world away that I believe that I am. So I'm a different animal. And then we're going to find out Saturday night. For sure, for sure. Hey, where do you think uh, Kamaru is more dangerous? Do you think he will try to grapple with you knowing that you can't submit him because you said that yesterday? I think he will try to grapple with me. That was a little bite that I, that I sent to him. You know, I want him to grapple. I, but I do believe we're going to grapple, we're going to wrestle. He's for sure superior in me on the wrestling, very high level wrestling. But I'm superior in the jiu-jitsu. And the striking might be a little even, but I know I got a lot more power. So it's going to be a good one. You guys, you guys should tune in. It's going to be a good one. Okay. Uh, uh, no matter what the result is, uh, do you think you might get a beer or celebrate together at the end of the night? Maybe, maybe. I still want to respect him a lot. 
and uh, the respect for me is going to be big, but I don't know if we, we're going to celebrate together, you know, because one guy is going to be very happy, the other guy is going to be very sad. I don't think the celebration will be together. For sure, will be, you know, a, maybe a toast or maybe, you know, a couple hugs and, you know, hand, shaking hands, but celebrating together, I don't think so. Uh, sharing a little moment, I mean. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that, that, for, for sure. sure. And what's your prediction for this fight? I predict the uh, finish. You know, I do believe I'm going to finish him with the jiu-jitsu or with the, with the knockout. And uh, that that's the way to see the, the fight finishing. Okay. And the last thing for me is here in Ecuador, a lot of people is rooting for you. Would you like to send a message to your Ecuadorian fans? Yeah. You want me to do that in English? or I, I, My Spanish is not great, but, you know, I can try a little bit. If you can do it, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So, gracias a todos os, os amigos ecuatorianos que tenho allá. Eh, tenho um amigo em Quito, em uh, vários, em diferentes lugares em Ecuador. So, quero, quero que todos estejam lá torcida, man, mandando muita força. Vou dar o máximo em, em minha peleia e, e, e um dia quero muito conhecer a, a Ecuador. Tenho, tenho muitos amigos lá. Quito, uh, uh, Guayaquil. Eh, Guayaquil, Quito, uh, muitos lugares, tenho muitos amigos aí, so, vamos estar na torcida e vou estar representando todos os latinos, sábado, la noite, mira a peleia, vamos com tudo. Hey, your Spanish is very good and thank you very much for your time, Gilbert, and Ecuador will receive you with, with a lot of house here. Good luck thank on the match. I'm coming, I'm coming to Ecuador for sure. We will take our next set of questions from Nikita Gorshenin with Sport Express. Gilbert, big pleasure to talk to you, my man. Yeah, my pleasure. How are you doing? I'm very good, thank you. Gilbert, uh, your debut in UFC was in 2014. If somebody told you uh, that year, 2014, that, Gilbert, listen, your first UFC title shot will be only in seven years in 2021. What would you answer this person? Man, it's too long or man, it's normal. Uh, can't wait. I, back then I thought it would be too long, you know, because I, I did believe I'll become a champion undefeated, but, uh, Everything happens to a reason, you know, and then I got a couple of losses that I'm thankful for those losses because I, I became way more mature. I learned so, so much. And I think I took that loss with me, you know, wherever I go, I bring the loss with me because it made, it made who I am. So, yeah, sometimes it's not on our time, you know, but I believe in God works. So I'm grateful. It is what it is. And. I love the journey, I love the coach, I love the training, I love my teammates, my team, my family, and uh, I'll, I'll, I don't think I will change a thing. Gilbert, do you remember your last conversation with Camaro, and what was this conversation about? Huh. Last conversation we had uh, was we just say how you doing how's everything how you recovered from COVID yeah yeah good and today I just I just saw him on the way here and they were just face bump he didn't say anything he didn't say anything we're gonna fight more than whether we're gonna fight each other so talks almost over we might talk during the fight a little bit. Gilbert, you uh, combine uh, unique skills. You are uh, a jitter of world class and you have knockout power in both hands. You knocked out with one punch with your right hand and you can knock out with your left hand. Before you see, I saw knockout when you throw that left hook and guy fell like paralyzed. It was terrifying. So now on this stage of your career psychologically you believe more in your knockout power or in your ground game and how do you think you have more chances chances to submit Camaro or knock knock him out yeah those, those chances are are very even you know very is a 50 50 I can my jiu-jitsu in a, such a high level and I make sure I keep my jiu-jitsu super sharp 
And on the other hand, it puts so much work in my boxing, the kickboxing, that I know I have a lot of power in my hands. Technique is getting better on stand up, and uh, I don't know. I'm going to get a finish, but you know, you can pick your poison. It's going to be if you want to strike, we're going to strike. But if you want to grapple, we're going to grapple. And we can pick your poison with me. If you want to strike, get ready. But if you want to grapple, that's my house right there. So I'm very confident either way. And um, I'm going to be looking for both ways. You know, I got I got a couple of ways to finish this fight and a couple other fights. That's, that's the thing. I'm going to be looking for a finish. Gilbert, you have, uh, I've never seen such beautiful armbar transition as uh, in you, because uh, uh, the one you pulled pulled off against Lukas Saevsky, it was just amazing. He just put his hand on the canvas and you grab this hand and you just finish him. I would like to ask you, uh, do you still work hard on your armbar uh, setups and how uh, how it's happened that you are so special in pulling off this uh, submission? That's my favorite submission to drill until today, favorite submission. If you ask, I, like, I like to do armbars. And uh, my coach, that was my coach's fault, you know, not fault, but that's that's my coach from Brazil, Oriente Jiu Jitsu in Niterói, Professor, uh, my 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 teacher, Rafael Barros. He would just make me on bar every single day, every single day, on bar from the bottom, on bar from the top, on bar from the mount, on bar from the back, side control from everywhere. We just drill really on bars every day. So that that's thanks to my coach. Have you ever submit Kamaru with armbar in sparrings? Yeah, everybody at the gym. I, I got everyone's arm already in the gym. Uh, Gilbert, in terms of uh, belt system in BJJ, how now would you rate Kamaru's BJJ? His black belt or his brown belt? How would you rate his jiu-jitsu? <laughs> Yeah, he's a black belt for sure. I, I I know his coach, George Santiago. I work with George Santiago a lot. George Santiago is a master of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. So much respect for him. And uh, for sure, if he, George gave him a black belt, for sure he deserves. He I'm, I'm not here to to rank nobody. No, I'm not his coach. His coach, you give him a black belt, he's a black belt. You know? Gilbert, the last one from me. Uh, we all saw in Embedded that you have now this amazing suit, uh, wine color. Uh, I wonder, can you tie a tie by yourself or maybe your wife will help you with that? I can't. I'm not going to lie. I can't. My guy, Mark Russell, he already did. He's already tied. And I got a backup, you know, if, if I need to do it again, my, my corner, Daniel Evangelista, he, he can do it for me. But I hope I don't need to touch on that because it's already, it's already done. But I can't, I can't, I can't, I no, I can do a lot of things. I can cook, I can cut weight, I can corner, I can teach, I can fight. I can do a lot of things, but no, I, I don't play with ties yet. Maybe, <laughs> maybe soon. Thank you so much, Gilbert. Fuck. Welcome. Thank you so much, Gilbert. That is all the time we had for you, sir. We appreciate it. Thank you, guys.